Kada sreznice ambasadora koja je na dužnosti i zastupa svoju zemlju, u ovom slučaju to je gospodin Erwin Hofer, onda sa njim razgovarate kao sa predstavnikom Švajcarske. Međutim, dan pred odlazak na novu dužnost, kad je već završio oficijalni deo svoga posla, ja sam otišla u njegovu rezidenciju da razgovaram sa njim kao sa privatnim licem. Razgovarala sam sa Ervinom Hoferom i pitala sam ga neke stvari, a njegova razmišljanja mislim da su jako korisne i zato vam to danas emitujem. This is your last day. You're fully packed, right? Yes, I'm ready. You're ready to go back. That's it. I see all those boxes are with your books, with all your things, but I see one empty suitcase. What you are going to put in it from Serbia? What you are going to take with you? In that case will be a bottle of wine from Fruška Gora. Then? There will be a book on Belgrade and the CD with the famous uh, march uh, of Trino. In this moment, you are, as we say, a completely private person with a huge knowledge, great experience about Serbia and the region. First of all, I think it's very important to have self-confidence. Even if you are in a difficult situation, have self-confidence. Think about your strengths, think about your qualities, and then think on how to use these qualities and try not to be too much dependent on your environment. But if you are meeting people from abroad and from all over the world, which are implementing the insecurity, what then you would say and to share experience? As long as a country is able to show its qualities, to show to the world that it is stable, to show to the world that it is united. Even if in an environment full of insecurity, it's possible to survive, it's possible to achieve good results. Serbia is on a firm way towards European integration. It has to be integrated because it's so much linked to Europe. The way on how to do this, this must be a Serbian, a Serbian decision, but a Serbian decision taking into account the requirements which are put forward by the outside world. Is Kosovo a condition to get to European Union? Is it a pure condition? We, we, if you do it, it's fine. If you don't do it, you don't get in. There is a political reality in the region. The political reality is that after the breaking apart of former Yugoslavia, a new order has been established. This order has many weak points. This order has deficiencies, but it's there. And the question is how to handle it, how to live with it. And Kosovo is a fact, and the question is not so much uh, whether you like it or whether you don't like it, the question is on how to deal with it. And um, I think we, we had a, quite a great breakthrough. This was the meeting, working meeting, which took place last Friday in Brussels between the Prime Minister of Serbia and the Prime Minister of Kosovo. This is the beginning of a way to settle practical things while at the same time respecting the positions of both as to the substance here in the region. We are very committed to Serbia and we are very much committed to the whole region. I think for, for two reasons. Uh, uh, as I said quite often in my public appearances, the fourth language spoken in Switzerland is not Reto Romanj, the fourth language is a language which today is called Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, Montenegrin. This is the most widely spoken language in Switzerland on the first place. So we have a very intimate link with this country and with the region. This is a key reason. The second reason is uh, Serbia perhaps has sometimes the feeling 
that it is a little bit on the periphery of Europe. Yes and no. Yes, in the sense uh, that uh, it's south of the Alps, it's a bridge between east and west, west and east, but it is in the very center. If Serbia is not doing well, then nobody in the region can really do well. So this strategic location of Serbia, we fully appreciate. And we do what we can in order to have this position recognized at its real value and in order to strengthen this position to have a very sound political and economic environment for Serbia. Your Excellency, when you help, when Switzerland helps, you have certain musts. What it is? The must is we want to have results in favor of the people. And to be sure that we have to uh, get results, we must control how our money is used. We want to be sure that every cent we are giving is well consumed and well used. Before my arrival, the priority was on humanitarian assistance, building houses for refugees. After my arrival, we helped EPS, we constructed a hub for transit of electricity through all Serbia. We are modernizing Tent B, the power station. We are about to launch a pioneer project in bioenergy. We helped establish a network all over the country of training centers for teachers. We are supporting all over Serbia Roma families, particularly with regard to the education of their children. I heard that the next project is with health. What is the plan? Is it going to be the priority of a Swiss help to Serbia? We will jointly with our Serbian partners elaborate a new strategy for 2014, 15 and 16. And in this new strategy, health might be a top issue. We are supporting the finance ministry with an advisor on how to be more efficient in budgeting, on how to better collect taxes. And to be modest. And to be modest. Can you teach Serbian people to be modest and that they save? Look your house. Your house is so simple and you're ambassador of, a, I can say, a rich country, right? And this is your, in a way, your private reception room. And look how modest it is. It's so simple, right? This, is, it, is it in, in, in the soul of the Swiss man? What it is? This is reflecting the Swiss spirit. You can go in Switzerland to the house of a very wealthy person. You don't feel it really. It's representative, but it's not heavy. It's not a show off. But what is important is the substance behind and This is exactly what we try to do here in Serbia. Do you think that you can educate our politician? I met this morning the president and I was so pleased to hear from him what? that he had the same approach as I had to debts. A deep change of mentality should occur. There is no reason to be pride to get a new credit. There is reason to be pride for not needing a new credit. This is the change which has to happen. What he said? He agreed with that fully. Really? He agreed with that. So there is need for a mentality change. Being pride not to need new credits instead of applauding that one has received a new credit. Do you have a credit? What we, me personally? Yes. Uh, we have, on the assistance of my wife, a very modest credit line on our apartment in Luzern. We would not need it, but she thinks it's a good investment and we can deduct it from our taxes. What you did like is okay. What I like is the people. Everywhere I met very friendly people. Everywhere I met very open people. And everywhere I met a lot of food. You are not an ambassador now. You are a private yes. person. Yes. So what yes. you did not yes. like. Yes. 
let me think this is not so diff not so uh, uh, easy to answer don't be a diplomat just no say. no but i you know it's easy to answer what i liked i know but it's difficult to find arguments where i would say i didn't like what i noticed and again i repeat myself and this was the element which was disturbing me most is the fact just borrow money creating money by credits this is not healthy and this i must say this general trend which has not yet been reversed this is a reason for concern for me you did not like in serbia if somebody is not on time number that's one that's true you didn't like when you are posing a question and you don't get a straight answer that's also true you didn't like when you have to eat twice for a lunch. That's it, yes. May I tell you how I see you? Please, go ahead. Okay. And I'm not excluding that you are going to be high up in the Federation of Switzerland. So, let's see who has right. I'm ready to support you. Inside and outside Serbia.